Chapter 31 Now when the festival ended, the Israelites who attended went to all the towns of Judah, Benjamin, Ephraim, and Manasseh, and they smashed the sacred pillars, cut down the Asherah poles, and removed the pagan shrines and altars. After this, the Israelites returned to their own towns and homes. Hezekiah then organized the priests and Levites into divisions to offer the burnt offerings and peace offerings, and to worship and give thanks and praise to the Lord at the gates of the temple. The king also made a personal contribution of animals for the daily morning and evening burnt offerings, as well as for the weekly Sabbath festivals and monthly new moon festivals, and for the other annual festivals as required in the law of the Lord. In addition, he required the people in Jerusalem to bring the prescribed portion of their income to the priests and Levites, so they could devote themselves fully to the law of the Lord. The people responded immediately and generously with the first of their crops and grain, new wine, olive oil, honey, and all the produce of their fields. They brought a tithe of all they owned. The people who had moved to Judah from Israel and the people of Judah themselves brought in the tithes of their cattle and sheep and a tithe of the things that had been dedicated to the Lord their God, and they piled them up in great heaps. The first of these tithes was brought in late spring, and the heaps continued to grow until early autumn. When Hezekiah and his officials came and saw these huge piles, they thanked the Lord and his people Israel. Where did all this come from? Hezekiah asked the priests and Levites. And Azariah the high priest, from the family of Zadok, replied, Since the people began bringing their gifts to the Lord's temple, we have had enough to eat and plenty to spare, for the Lord has blessed his people. Hezekiah decided to have storerooms prepared in the temple of the Lord, and this was done. Then all the gifts and tithes were faithfully brought to the temple. Conaniah the Levite was put in charge, assisted by his brother Shimei. The supervisors under them were Jehiel, Azaziah, Nahath, Asahel, Jeremoth, Josabad, Eliel, Ismachiah, Mehath, and Benaiah. These appointments were made by King Hezekiah and Azariah, the chief official in the temple of God. Koreh, son of Imnah, the Levite, who was the gatekeeper at the east gate, was put in charge of distributing the free will offerings of God, the gifts, and the things that had been dedicated to the Lord. His faithful assistants were Eden, Maniamin, Jeshua, Shemaiah, Amariah, and Shechaniah. They distributed the gifts among the families of priests in their towns, by their divisions, dividing the gifts fairly among young and old alike. They also distributed the gifts to all males three years old or older, regardless of their place in the genealogical records, who came daily to the Lord's temple to perform their official duties by their divisions. And they distributed gifts to the priests who were listed in the genealogical records by families, and to the Levites twenty years old or older, who were listed according to their jobs and their divisions. Food allotments were also given to all the families listed in the genealogical records, including the little babies, the wives, and the sons and daughters, for they had all been faithful in purifying themselves. As for the priests, the descendants of Aaron, who were living in the open villages around the towns, men were appointed to distribute portions to every male among the priests and to all the Levites listed in the genealogical records. In this way, King Hezekiah handled the distribution throughout all Judah, doing what was pleasing and good in the sight of the Lord his God. In all that he did in the service of the temple of God, and in his efforts to follow the law and the commands, Hezekiah sought his God wholeheartedly. As a result, he was very successful.